Hello friends. This video on lines and angles part 8 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let's understand a new topic parallel lines and transversal. Parallel line, we already know what is parallel line. So two lines are parallel. If the perpendicular distance between them is same across any of these points. What is transversal? Could be any kind of line, parallel line or non-parallel line. Okay. So if there is a line which intersects two or more lines, it can be let's suppose three parallel lines, a line which is intersecting them at distinct points. So a line which intersects two or more lines at distinct point is called transversal. Okay. So for our purpose, we will talk about transversal for parallel lines. So these lines will not talk about, we will talk about transversal for these cases. Okay. And typically for transversal for two parallel lines, three also, four also, but let's try to understand first the transversal for two parallel lines. So if uh, so we have two parallel lines L and M and this is transversal. Okay, then if you see the angles form, there's angle one, and this gives a name two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Now if you see here one, two, seven, eight, they are exterior angles. So we have exterior angle, exterior angles, one, two, eight, seven. And we have interior angle, these are interior angles. 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, so, so in this case we have exterior angle, we have interior angle. So just understand this term, there are two lines L and M and L is parallel to M in this case. Right, so we write with the symbol, L is parallel to M. This is a transversal. And this transversal creates eight angles, angle one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Angle one, two, seven, eight, they are exterior angle. And angle three, four, five, six, they are called interior angles. And we've already read about corresponding angles, alternate angles, alternate interiors, alternate uh, interior angle on the same side. We've already learned about these concepts. Let me repeat this. If we talk about corresponding angles, Right, so what are the corresponding angles we are here? The corresponding angles can be angle 2 and 6, 2 and 6, or 3 and 7, or 1 and 5, and 4 and 8. Please pay attention here in this slide, very important slide, the foundation of this topic. These are all corresponding angles and they are equal. We know that angle 2 is equal to angle 6, angle 3 is equal to angle 7, angle 1 is equal to angle 5, and angle 4 is equal to angle 8. This is something we already know. Let's talk about alternate angle. See alternate angles, we have alternate interior angles and alternate exterior angles. We generally, when I say alternate angles, I typically mean alternate interior angles. So here, alternate interior angles will be angle 4 and 6, and they are equal to 5 and 3. We talk about alternate, alternate exterior angle, angle 1 and angle 7, and angle 2 and angle 8, they are also equal. Right? And the third concept is uh, interior angle on same side of transversal. On same side of transversal. Okay? And their sum is 180 degree. For example, angle 3 plus angle 6. And angle 4 plus angle 5 
this is also 180 degree. Please pause this video for some time. Understand that this is a corresponding angle. Okay, 2 and 6, 3 and 7, 1 and 5, 4 and 8. Four corresponding angle pairs. Alternate angles, it can be interior or exterior. So by default, when you say alternate angle, you mean alternate interior angle. 4 and 6 angle will be equal because of alternate angles. They are alternate angles. Angle 3 and 5 are also equal. They are alternate interior angles. Angle 1 and 7 are equal. They are alternate exterior angle. Angle 2 and 8 are equal. They are alternate exterior angle. And the next concept is for interior angles on the same side of transversal. Angle 3 and 6 sum is 180. Angle 4 and 5 sum is 180. Okay. And please note this alternate uh, interior angle on the same side of transversal are also referred as consecutive interior angle or co-interior angles. Okay. Co-interior angle. This is also called co-interior angles or consecutive interior angles or allied angles. Sometimes they just say interior angles, right? You can say co-interior angle is a better term, co-interior angles. Okay. So with this, now let's learn about each of these properties of each of these corresponding angles, alternate angles and co-interior angles. Okay. So corresponding angles are equal, alternate angles are equal and pair of some, uh, some of the pairs of co-interior angles is. Thank you. Visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality education videos. You can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website. You can also get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot for watching.